feel like I'm like turning into like the hippie slowly but surely. What's up Packers? It's Gully Blocks and today's video is all about tie-dye hacks. My shirt. All these hacks are to die for. <laughs> okay. For our first pack, we have Kool-Aid tie-dye shirts. I'm literally wearing one right now. You can't even tell it's Kool-Aid. I mean, you shouldn't be able to tell it. And they actually came out really, like who says you need tie-dye kits? Just go to Walmart, get some Kool-Aid. And you know that like tie-dye is not like a new trend. It's literally been around since the sixth century, a long time ago in like Japan, India, and Africa. That's so cool. I thought that like this was literally created in like the 80s, you know, like the disco, but like, no man, it was way before that. For this DIY, you'll need Kool-Aid, a shirt, rubber bands, squeeze bottles, and rubber gloves. Make your dyes with the Kool-Aid and water in the squeeze bottles. Let the shirt soak and remove the bands. Set the dye with heat, a dryer or an iron. Groovy. <laughs> so we have the spring the pastel colors. I actually really like this one. And then we got the fire, you know, the flames, the heat. This one's the spicy one. And then we have watermelon because everybody loves watermelon. And then we have some good old cotton candy. Everybody loves good old cotton candy. Cotton candy. And this one is just the <laughs> everything. This one I experimented, I just did every single color. And it actually turned out pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. And for our next hack, we have tie-dye sneakers. <laughs> Got you, I'm kidding, I probably did it. These used to be white. They are so colorful. These turned out actually so good. They turned out very vibrant. They're just like someone called Vogue. They're like unicorn realness. I know my gold sneakers are like my like OGs, but I don't know. Maybe I'd be down for some unicorn action. For this DIY, you'll need a tie-dye kit and white high tops. First, remove the laces. Mix up the dye kit and paint onto shoes. Let them dry and replace the laces. That's one kick in tie-dye. <laughs> Here's a pro tip for like the most vibrant tie-dye ever. You have to heat up the dye. Dye them, soak them, dry them, heat them. It literally makes them almost neon. It's insane. And for our last tack, we have a tie-dye phone case. Because, okay, tie-dye is old. We've been over this, the sixth century. So we're gonna tech up tie-dye with my iPhone X. I'm just like proud of my iPhone X. I mean, they didn't have cell phones in the 70s, but I mean, if you time traveled into the 70s and you had this, you'd be a pretty like chill 70s girl. For this DIY, you'll need a plain phone case, Mod Podge, nail polish, glitter, and wax paper. Place the case on some wax paper face down and start puddling the nail polish. Press another piece of wax paper down on top of the phone. Voila! Now your phone is stylish. 
case on point. And that is it for all of my groovy hacks. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, like it and comment down below what your favorite was. Mine was definitely the tie-dye phone case. Just look at that, it time travels. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more DIYs every Friday and to be part of the Gold Squad. Goldie Block, signing off, bruh. People are probably like, are you okay? Like, I'm not, okay. <laughs>